Nintendo just recently dropped the Nintendo Direct yesterday, and it was honestly the best Direct we've had in a while. It wasn't flawless, I mean we never got Mario Odyssey 2, or a remake of Donkey Kong 94, but I'm willing to let it slide for now because we got an announcement that N64 and Sega Genesis games are coming to Switch Online, something that's still very exciting just hours later, and even wireless controllers that are absolutely awesome. But I am a bit skeptical about the expansion pack though. I mean, yeah, it's cool that we're finally getting N64 games, but it's not cool that Nintendo Switch Online's other issues are improved, like how some games still have laggy connections and voice chat is still used through the smartphone app. So I'm not really sure how I'd feel about it, but we're definitely getting higher on the Switch Online greatness scale with this edition, and not to mention that it's even, that it's gonna, even going to be pricier, which I really can't vouch for either, to be honest. Though I'd like to see a bit more going forward from the service to warrant the higher price. The Mario movie got a segment in the direct, something we were not expecting in the slightest, but we did get some info on the casting, like how Mario will be voiced by Chris Pratt and Luigi will be voiced by Charlie Day. Both actors I'm not too familiar with, but I'm definitely expecting them to portray their respective characters quite well too. But it's, uh, kinda odd that Mario and Luigi aren't gonna be voiced by Charles Martinet. And I have no idea what I was expecting, but it sure as hell was not this. I was pretty stunned at the fact that Charles Martinet won't be voicing Mario in the film because he's a great voice actor, but I guess we'll have to see how it goes with these other actors. And plus, Charles Martinet will get cameo appearances in the movie. Now for the other parts of the direct. Splatoon 3 got a mention, something we haven't heard of much since its reveal in February, and it's coming in 2022, and I believe in summer 2022, much like Splatoon 2, but we'll have to see. Mario Golf Super Rush gets another free update, always a pleasure to hear. Now, while we didn't get any new, any new info on WarioWare, we did, as a matter of fact, get more info on Mario Party Superstars, and it just looks really good. I haven't played much of the Mario Party games, and more specifically the newer ones, but it's looking to be the Mario Party game longtime fans have been wanting for so long. It definitely shows promise. It's probably better than whatever the hell Mario Party 9 was, and is anyone else getting chills from hearing those words said out loud? Metroid Dread gets a spotlight in the direct in an unexpectedly really amazing trailer. Metroid isn't my personal favorite Nintendo franchise. It's a good series, despite the only entry I've played being Super Metroid. But this trailer was honestly really good, and it's honestly just persuading me to want Metroid Dread more than it has any right to. Smash Ultimate got some more info, and that's regarding the final DLC fighter that's going to be revealed in October. It's definitely sad to see the game end DLC, but after how hard Sakurai and his team worked on the game over the past three years, he definitely deserves a break. And also, we got another pretty major announcement, and that's Kirby. Kirby in the Forgotten Land is the next big Kirby game slated for Spring 2022, and it looks pretty different compared to other titles. From the gameplay trailer, it looks to be more so a linear th 3D title, much like Mario 3D World and Crash Bandicoot, but is it a true 3D platformer? We don't really have enough info at the moment to know for sure right now, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. And that's about it, at least for at least first party lineup. Now obviously the third party support was pretty good, but I'm more so excited for the exclusives on Switch. Now obviously I do own some multi-platform Switch games and they're delightful, damn it. But of course, the main reason I care about game consoles is their exclusives and also occasionally their multi-platform games. And the Switch is no exception. And so far, the Switch's exclusive games have been pretty top notch. And that's mostly the kinds of games I anticipate from these directs. But yeah, that wraps up today's, the, today's video. Very excited for Nintendo 64 games to come to the service. Definitely excited for that. Mario Party Superstars looks like a legitimately good Mario Party. And also forgot to mention the Animal Crossing Direct, expecting it to give players a reason to return back to their islands after Nintendo took a bit of a break from the updates. But this Direct overall was great. But yeah, again, thanks for watching and stay tuned because the next video will be on the 25th anniversary of Super Mario 64. Wait a second. Oh damn it, I just ruined the surprise. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos on my channel where you'll find more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time.